ValveTime.net. Hi, and welcome to the Valve Time News. Each week, we'll bring you the biggest talking points regarding Valve and the community. Now, the news. Late last week, James McVinney took to his Gaming and Update Steam community group to reveal some brand new information regarding the upcoming end of the line community update for Team Fortress 2. In the post, McVinney mentions that the work in progress Source Filmmaker video announced last year is currently around 14 minutes long so far, something which could reach around 17 minutes once completed. This is obviously far longer than the 8 minute duration previously discussed in the video's teaser trailer last year. Later in the post, McVinney discusses the update itself by mentioning that the team has made some decent progress developing new weapons and a map prototype even if the weapons themselves still lack proper stats and balancing. A few days later, McVinney posted a follow-up announcement to discuss his frustration regarding how certain members of the community seem to have become more focused on the weapons and maps set to be included in the update rather than the aforementioned 17-minute video. He mentions how the video is really the center of the update itself, while reiterating how the existence of the teaser trailer is the entire reason for the update existing in the first place. To read more about McVinney's recent thoughts regarding the upcoming end of the line update, be sure to check out the posts for yourself which are available as links in the video description. On Friday, YouTube user and SFM animator Swords was feeling rather bold and decided to start a Dota 2 vs League of Legends flame war in his comment section. Then again, releasing an SFM video known as When Heroes Meet Champions is bound to rustle some feathers. The video, shown here, pits several of Dota 2's heroes against a variety of champion characters from Riot Games' League of Legends. The 30 second video itself is merely a short teaser trailer for a much longer video Swords is looking to create in the coming months. Swords is also looking for Patreon support to help finance the creation of his project, so be sure to head on over to his video if you're looking to watch the video or to support him directly. It might be Easter weekend, but this Saturday was also important for a rather different reason. This Saturday, April 19th, marked three years since the release of Portal 2 back in 2011, following an extremely exciting and innovative alternative reality game spanning numerous indie titles. To celebrate the anniversary, we decided to spend a minute with Portal 2 to look back at some of our favorite moments from the then highly anticipated sequel. The video will be made available via an on-screen annotation in a few moments and we would really appreciate if you could head on over to check it out. Just be warned, the video does contain a fairly heavy amount of spoilers. Happy birthday, Portal 2! Oh, and happy Easter, everyone! If, like some of us, you're not religious, just use it as an excuse to eat loads of egg-shaped chocolate and play video games over a long weekend. And that brings us to the end of another very light week of Valve news. We believe Valve have recently been taking their annual holiday, so we imagine things will start to pick up again in the next few weeks. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, to rate our Dota 2 announcer pack positively over on the Steam Workshop, and to sign up and get involved over on the ValveTime.net forums. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.